All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a very unexpected uh, video that I'm making I'm about to do for you guys an unboxing. I didn't think that this guitar was going to arrive until Tuesday, and today's Saturday, so I'm a little um, caught by caught off guard, I guess you could say. I was just jamming on my bastard V and got a buzzing at the door. Saw a UPS guy out there, and what we're going to do is unboxing. If I can find the opener, the razor blades, whatever the frick, uh, I can't remember where I put them. Ah, here we go. So this is gonna be just a real quick unboxing because I got some shit I gotta do, but we gotta get to this because I was gonna do an unboxing anyway. So here we go. This is gonna be a guitar that you guys probably aren't expecting, but I was gonna eventually get one anyway. And I've actually been eyeballing one of these suckers for um, a little while, maybe a couple years. And the time was right, the price was right, so I went for it. So you guys are gonna see that. And a few seconds now let me pull this thing out of here i kind of want to keep half the box intact oh i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this right here pop 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 god i am so caught off guard it's not even funny Whoa. Ooh, I'm so happy. All right, guys, come here. Let me grab this. So you guys can't see what the hell's going on up there, can you? Sucks not having a camera person. I do all this myself. Check this out. Oh, what we got here? How many strings is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's right. I picked up a bass. It was only gonna be a matter of time where I was gonna have to get one of these suckers. So what we have here? is an LTD F415 FM Flame Maple Top. Um, according to the description, great condition. Did my research and all that stuff. Couldn't find a bad review on it and I didn't want to get just like kind of a low-end model that was only going to be you know, maybe a hundred bucks cheaper than this, uh, this base. And it was going to be time to get one of these because when I do my recordings it just it just you can tell when that bass isn't there so here we go we uh i was gonna get a four string but i'm like you know what um all the stuff that i'm gonna be recording and sharing with you guys all my early work is a standard tuning so my plan is to put this down in a standard a tuning and this will be like a primary primary bass in conjunction with the solar seven string that ola sent me so these will be my primary two guitars for all my early material that i want to get on an ep and share with you guys Beautiful, beautiful bass. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Come on, you. Don't be scared. Come with Kev. fun later oh, oh my god it's so cool get the hell off of there man sticky icky all right hell out of there dude that's awesome come here get over here Check this out, dude. Man. Oh, hell yeah. That is so my style. I love that shape. Always love that forest shape. Oh. And a lot of the um, ESPs that I've played, except for that seven string back in the day, that was absolute garbage. I like ESP. I always liked the LTDs. Um, except for that guitar that I had. This one has the active EMGs. I think these are the 40s. Uh, and each uh, demo that I heard, the playthroughs and whatnot, sounded exactly how I wanted it to sound. And it's a neck through, which you guys know I love. Man, that thing is beautiful. Okay, there's a couple scratches here. I mean, I'll go over this and see where the 
Yeah, we're gonna do that right now. So let's look at the damages. Yeah, just a minor scuff right there. Didn't go through the wood. Just kind of got the clear coat a little bit. Focus, focus. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Dude, this thing is freaking gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, these retail for $8.99 brand new. I got her for 500 bucks. Well, I wasn't gonna pass that up at all. This is exactly what I was looking for. And we might have another fretboard to die. Um, maybe, probably not right now. I wanna play it for a little bit. But this is, um, this is right up my alley totally. This thing's cool, man. Oh, I'm in love, man. Awesome. Super cool. But I had to do this video real quick, just kind of on the fly. Uh, I was about to head out the door. I was jamming, actually. Amp is still on. I was jamming on my Bastard V. And like I said, I got that buzzing at the door. Thought the guy made a mistake or nobody else was being able to let him in to deliver a package. Actually, there was a lady downstairs who had a package delivered. So, um, let the guy in and had a box the shape of a guitar. I said, wait a minute, what's that you got there, buddy? And he had this early, so this is really, really cool. I gotta call my dad, let him know. <laughs> yeah, this thing's, uh, this thing's killer, man. And I really like that transparent black color. Let me bring it over here by the window. You guys can uh, get a better idea what that color looks like. Super, super cool. Yeah, she's in great shape. I mean, yeah, I can I can clean this up a little bit and it'll pop a lot more. Yeah, there's just a little bit of dirt and whatnot on here. Some sweatage. Um, I could pull that plastic off of there. I mean, this thing is damn near mint condition. I like it. Doesn't look like it's been played too much either. Yes, did a good job, Kev, did a great job. All right, guys. Um. But that's gonna be it for now on this video and then we will we'll use a plug-in on that I'm actually still kicking around what kind of bass amp I want to get I've been looking at tons of stuff just weighing out the pros and cons seeing what I want to get just for my living room set up just to jam in jam in my living room jam in my bedroom and then when it comes to recording all that's gonna be done through a plug-in but uh, if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up uh, I always appreciate you guys coming to the channel uh, take it easy out there be safe catch you later